Jacobs here, the tie guy. Uh, today we're going to be tying a gorgeous uh, Bulgari tie. Bulgari. Uh, I have not had one of their ties before. I'm actually kind of surprised at that because they're a very popular brand. Uh, their ties are very similar to Ferragamo as far as look goes, but they also have a handmade version of their tie that's all, very, just very high end, uh, great Italian fashion. So um, I'm trying out some different brands uh, to give you guys some different uh, reviews on them and everything else. So this is going to be my first Bulgari review. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, Bulgari, I think it's neat how they spell their name. It's spelled with a V instead of a U for the uh, Bulgari. Uh, this is a yellow tie, and it has a geometric pattern. It almost looks like barbed wire or kind of like some ropes uh, crossing each other in a really pretty gray. So it's a yellow tie with gray, creating a checkerboard pattern out of that. Um, as far as the silk goes, i got to tell you, this feels really good, like super good. Um, I mean, it lays absolutely perfect. You can tell it's hand done because the way that it opens up here, you know, absolutely perfect silk. Um, I mean, it has just a beautiful feel to it. Uh, I'm not hating on this tie. I'm actually loving this tie. Uh, um, with all due respect to all the brands I wear daily, this is one of the best feeling ties I've ever felt just to the, just to the feel. has a lot of weight to it, a very dense silk. Um, and it's a fairly thin, kind of a medium tie but just has a lot of substance to it and a great feel. So uh, let's tie it up and see how it ties. My first time ever tying a Bulgari tie, and we're doing it on camera for you guys. Uh, I, I, love, I love doing this. I really do. Because this is a thick tie, I feel like we're going to need a lot of slack to create the full Windsor we're trying to create. So I'm going to take it all the way down to here and see how this looks, which is going to bring the back of the tie right around my pack here. So let's take uh, the, small, the long part of the tie over the top of the short part. Underneath, up, and through. Then we'll come around behind, keeping everything nice and tight, all the way around, up and over, down and through. Now this is what I call a checkpoint. I want to make sure my knot's coming together, which it looks really nice there. Then we're going to come out over the front, all the way around, behind, up and through, and that creates a little pocket for us that we're going to push the tie down through. Hold on to the top of the pocket, pull the tie down through. Now, take the sides and pull them down. Hold on to the knot, pull the long part of the tie. That's how you create your triangle. Look how pretty that is. Then hold on to the knot, pull the shorter part of the tie, the back of the tie, bring it up to your neck. Everyone check for the length. We want the tip of the tie, this right here, to come between the top and the bottom of our belt buckle. And we are dead on right there. So I did good for a brand new tie, uh, picking that out. So let's pull the collar down. Let's see how this comes together. I get asked a lot of times, how do you always get the length perfect? Well, I don't. If you watch enough of my videos, you'll see sometimes I tie them three times even. Um, but you get a feel for the tie. The thickness, the texture, uh, the length, the width of the tie, all those things kind of play. You just kind of get a feel for how much uh, distance you need. And my advice is always use your hands and arms as your measuring tool because this is not going to change. You know, a pair of pants may sit a little bit different on you, so don't use that as a guideline. Your shirt may hang a little different. Don't use that. Use your arms and hands. So that's why my spot is always a tip of my finger. I hold it down to the side, and I find that spot, uh, you know, to the, to the length of the tie. That's my advice. So let's uh, tidy all up, make it come together here. That tied an absolutely perfect knot. Okay, I'm a Bulgari fan. I will d definitely be buying more, Bul more Bulgari ties. Uh, absolutely came together beautiful and one of the better feeling silks I've ever felt. Just has a really um, solid feel to it. Um, I love my Ferragamo ties, but this feels better than a Ferragamo as far as the feel of the tie. Uh, I'm going to buy one of their um, regular line ties as well that competes with Ferragamo. Uh, I'll buy one of those and do that in the near future so you guys can uh, see a review on that. But this is one of their higher end, um, I think it's a seven fold or a handmade, something like that. I don't know a lot about Bulgari, so I'm just going with what knowledge I do have. But anyway, um, love how it's tied. The uh, look is going to start scrolling across, across the bottom of your screen. I'm going to go through it with you right now. So today we're wearing a charcoal gray, a Myrna Gildo Zinnia suit, charcoal gray suit. We're pairing that with a purple Eaton shirt. Now, one thing I like about Eaton shirts, if you haven't seen my videos before, is they usually have a lot of texture to them. On my Instagram, you'll see more close-ups of this. And the buttons are stellar. Absolutely gorgeous buttons. So I really like the Eaton shirts. Um, so purple Eaton shirt. We're in a beautiful, very well-made yellow Bulgari tie with a gray, uh, like a barbed wire uh, crossing pattern. And we're pairing that today with a black Hermes belt with a gold belt buckle. This belt has some white stitching across the top and bottom, so it really brings out a class. And we're pairing that today with a pair of 
the red, you can see the red soles. Christian Louboutin Black Oxfords. These are some absolutely gorgeous shoes. Love them. And they just really accent this look. So um, it, check out my Instagram, though, if you will. It's Thai Guy James Acres. My Instagram's got close ups of the tie, close ups of the suit, the shirt, the shoes, the belt. See the whole thing? Some selfies of me wearing this whole outfit. <coughs> Excuse me. As well as close ups of the knots. You can see how the whole thing came together. So check that out. If you like my videos, please uh, click subscribe and, and like. Guys, I appreciate you, but I am ready for work. Thank <laughs> you.